Hi darlings, I hope you're all alright and keeping safe and taking care of yourselves. I was going to do another uh, live stream react tonight. You know the one that went on for like 6 hours? Well I only managed 37 minutes. But I was going to uh, upload it anyway with my uh, reaction to it. But then this one come along. So <laughs> we're going to do this one. I might still upload the other one even though it's an old one. But you know... We'll, we'll stick with this one now because it's a little bit more current, but I think she has been live streaming since, so you know, we're always behind, aren't we, trying to catch up with her. Anyway, let's get to it and let's react. Here we Whoa, go. Oh, I fucking panicked. I thought he was going to leave. Fucking desperate Dee Dee is, like, coming down. Do I look this desperate? Like, it's bad. Coming down, it's a blizzard, and you're going to drive down. Like... You fucking big ass coward man baby. Sandra said he's a real boy now. Yeah, you do look like a real boy with your fucking haircut. Because you know what? I you wanted me to come over today and I didn't. And so you're you're alone for what? A few two questions. Of these two had a tiff and is she talking to God because she keeps looking up? They've obviously had a little bit of a tiff, a little bit of a uh, lover's quarrel, a little bit of a Romeo and Juliet argument. Uh, she's not a very happy bunny. Uh, she's at home and uh, apparently it's all over. It's finished, kaput. She's, she's, he's, it's the that final biscuit. She, he's took the biscuit. In fact, he's ate the biscuit and he's gone to the toilet. It's all it's all over, I'm afraid. Um, very sad. Because, I mean, it was such a strong relationship, as you all know. But she's having a little bit of a... Um, she's processing through her feelings. A.K.A. she's having a, um, a bit of a meltdown. A few hours, so you have to call on someone else? You can't even be alone for a few hours? Well, obviously not, darling. And I think... The saddest part of that is it shows that you are very easily replaceable. I would see that red flag if I was you. It's waving very, very, um, very hard in your face there. Like you just fucking suck the life out of people. Ugh. Oh, the irony. I'm so over it. Like it. <sighs> Am I over it? I really fuck. I'm, I'm over it. Over it. She's over it, everybody. Declare. I just want to fix my hair and stuff. Do stuff we used to do. I cannot be with somebody who... Would you not feel insecure if you had a boyfriend who is constantly... I just put hair fibers. Who's constantly, like, making you feel insecure because of the fact that you can't leave them alone. You don't feel like you can leave them alone because... And do things on your own and be here and spend time with your cat and your best friend. A, because, oh, yeah, this hypocrite has a problem with me living with Pete all of a sudden because Pete's called him a motherfucker on live stream and that burned his ego. So now he has a personal problem with Pete, so now it's my problem. So all of a sudden I have... Yeah, I've got to say, I've got to interject here. Um, to say that, you know, oh, it, it dented his ego and everything. I'm sure this woman uh, watches reaction channels. And picks up little bits of lingo and little phrases that she latches onto. And ideas. I really do. I'm convinced of it. Um, the insecurity that she feels. Insecurity is an internal feeling. It's within her. No one can make you feel insecure. If you feel confident in yourself... Any sort of jibes, any um, anyone trying to arouse jealousy in you, it would just bounce off you because you're confident and safe and secure within yourself. So she's got that wrong right at the start. You know, her insecurities come from herself and they're one of the things that really she needs to um, process and deal with with a therapist that would help her come up with ways to... Um, combat that and feel a bit more secure about itself within and without relationships. I have to like not live with Pete 
Because any girlfriend of this controlling asshole is not going to live with his, You're not his girlfriend? With her ex. Really? Really? Hmm. Mm. You literally gave me an STD. And you, you say you don't, but... <sighs> And you stayed with him, even though he had given you something like that. Guys, why am I so dumb? I so don't I know, just love flipped out because I it seemed know. like, oh, you are you have plans with friends, right? And so the thing is, is like, he's going to have this fucking woman. He treats you terrible, I despise him. He does. And he treats me terrible. Like, if you guys only knew the way he treated me the other night for, like, hours and hours and hours. If you only knew. But we know a lot of and it. I mean... He has the nerve to... We don't know all of it. We don't know all of it. But we know a lot of it because you can't help but spill your guts all over your channel. And, you know, if you've got all these little bit of proofs... Because we know that you like proof because you're always asking other people to provide proof. Show us... Show us your proof. I'd love to see it. I'd I'd pause and examine it with a fine tooth comb. Get my um, spyglass out. Not only not even apologize for it, but like turn it around on me and treat me like more like shit. Somebody who fucking pays for your just sent you fifty dollars yesterday for cigarettes. Like you. Are fucking stupid. Why would you send somebody fifty dollars for cigarettes? I mean, that's about what twenty five, thirty pounds. There is no way that I would send a chap like Old Romeo that sort of money. I just wouldn't do it. I mean, whether he asked for it or not, I mean that's um, well, you can't believe a word she says half the time. So you know. Did he ask for it or did she just offer? But um, why would you send somebody money like that for cigarettes? That is a lot of money just for cigarettes to go up in smoke. You are stupid to treat me like that. So, you know what, Dee Dee? I really hope that you have a really safe trip down to Gatno, to Ghetto Gatno. And I really, really fucking hope you bring another candle. And some more chocolate. Um, personally, I whipped them up. I used your chocolates to whip them up, crabby Quebecer men that were walking down the street. There again, you see, is her hatred for other women. So focusing all her anger on Romeo, she has to bring this other girl in. That little, that other girl has done nothing to her. Not really. Why is she doing that? Why is she having a go? Where, why is that, Dee Dee, the focus for all this anger, all this upset? She needs to, you know, keep, um, keep abreast of the situation. That Dee Dee's done nothing to you. She's not in a relationship with you. Well, relationships. <laughs> yeah, I suppose it's the best way to word to use, isn't it? Although a relationship does infer that they're boyfriend and girlfriend, but all your upset should be aimed towards him. If he truly has been this nasty to you, leave the girl alone. She's done nothing to you. She's as much a victim in this as anybody else, you know. And... And, come on then, spit it out. Oh, we should speak a bit faster. No, no. Oh, you know what? You there. are never going to talk to me ever again. Oh, I'm, I bet he's you crying. You know what, I'm not going out tonight because I oh, smoke. He'll be beside himself. And there's a blizzard. Yeah. Oh. She's there for a week. So you're going to spend a week with someone you're not even having sex with? For real? Yeah, because you know what? Not all of us adults are jumping each other's bones every five minutes. You know, I can be within another adult's um, presence. I could do a month. I could do a year. I could do bloody ten years a lifetime without jumping on them and getting romantical. 
everything is down to sex with this woman. Sex, food and marijuana. That's all this girl cares about. Plenty of people can be friends, even the opposite sex, and not have sex with each other. It, it is, you know, it, it's that task is performed probably millions and billions of times a, a year by millions of different people. She just, just shows you where her mind is permanently, you know, in the gutter. Flashback to the Christmas lives. I'm just gonna go to tomorrow and get my shit and be done with this fucking guy. Oh, good. That's what I'm saying. Okay, I'm glad you finally admit, come to that decision. And is it set in stone this time? No, but... Or is it like one of those invisible inks? It can be sort of swept away. So just like I that. really hope this is a lesson for me, what not to do. Mm -hmm. Let's with hope a it is. Person in the future. Honestly, yeah, it's gonna like it. It and more than anything, it I. Oh, I want some kind of fucking revenge. Like, mm. I just feel like it's not fair. It's not. It, you are a bit of a vengeful mare bag, aren't you? You know, perhaps if you'd have listened to all those people who've been warning you, um, subscribers, members, even the reaction channels have been warning you, family and friends definitely have been warning you against me. You never listened. So perhaps the second lesson that you can get out of this whole situation is that perhaps you don't know everything and perhaps other people are right and you're wrong. And listen to other, listen to the advice of other people. If you'd have done that, all of this would have been done and dusted long ago. You know, this you, this is dragged on for how many months? Is it seven or eight months? You've known all along that this time would come. You've known all along that it was a terrible relationship. Come on, stop acting daft. Okay. Life's not fair, my love. Life. Is that like some kind of like it. emotional manipulation tactic to like treat everyone else better and try to make me feel like shit? Like, is it why? Well, you would know about that. You're a master in manipulating manipulation. I'm surprised actually that you're asking your audience that question because you know he manipulates you because you've done it to many a person before before you ever met him. Like, I don't get it. After everything I do she doesn't for him, get I don't a lot understand. Of things, does she? I don't understand really? it at all. That's all I've heard her say the last couple of days. I don't get it, I don't get it, I don't I get it. Bank statement. Oh, actually. Have you? Go on then, show the proof. Please. Actually, I paid... Did Put I pay the post. fucking rent this month for you? Oh no, you're lucky. Because you should ask me if Dee Dee could come over. But... You said you'd only done it once, just to help him out. He needed a bit of help. And why would he need to ask your permission for um, old Jezebel to come round? It's his place. You might have paid his rent, but you've got no ownership over the place. You need to rein your neck in, darling. If I pay the rent. It's all about control. She was bagging my stuff up. Okay, well good, I want all my stuff. I hope she wears no, some rubber gloves. Old uh, Jezebel, when she's <laughs> when she's packing her away her stuff, I hope she wears some rubber gloves and keeps her hands clean. Cause that oh god, could you imagine fiddling with her garments? I panicked because I'm like I thought he was going to Montreal, but he said he's not going to Montreal, and desperate Dee Dee is going tonight to his house. So I'm just like oh. <laughs> You're an idiot. You're such an idiot. He's such an idiot, but he knows how to play you beautifully. You can't... She can't control him. That's, I think, the root of the problem. She can't control him. She can't make him do what she wants him to do. And it drives her crazy because she's got to be in control. She's got to be in charge of everything. She's like that little bossy bully kid you know, at nursery that takes over everything, that's got the loudest voice in the classroom. She's one of them. I'm like, he's like, don't make me your enemy. 
You are my enemy, bitch. Ooh. You're my, you're my enemy. Is he? You're is my he, enemy. He's your enemy now, is he? He was your lover five minutes ago. <laughs> oh, is he? I wonder if, like, he made himself look like the victim against Delphine. And he does that with me, too. Chantel, stop calling me. Stop calling me? Oh, I'll stop calling you. Don't worry, when I turn off your phone number. Oh, Don't right, worry. so you're paying for his phone as well. Didn't she say at one point that she wasn't doing that as well? It's all coming out now. I love it when she has, um, I love it when she has her arse in her hand because all the truths come out then. All the little lies, you know, she, she trips up because she's so furious and she wants to get all this vile venom out that she trips over herself. And as well as that, I think she's obviously had a bit of old, uh, you know, marijuanas or something because she seems a bit, you know, dozy. What, you know, dozy, sleepy dozy, not dozy as in a bit, you know, daft. But, um, yeah, I love it. I love it. Because she, she does it herself. She creates her own problems. I mean, this is the thing we've been talking about, isn't it? She creates her own problems and she drops herself in it every time. It's coming. As soon as I get my shit back and I don't need to talk to you anymore for real. So change phones, phone companies. I'm so tired of this shit. I know, I'm sorry. Okay, let's talk about something else. Go on then. Because it's getting to be a stuck Each record. Each day that Dee Dee's there, I'm going to do a different story time. Ah, uh, yeah. What do you guys think about that? Is that your big revenge? Different story time about different things that he's done to me. The only thing is, Bab, we won't believe a bloody word of it. Because you lie. So what's the point of doing story times? The whole point of doing story times is to elaborate on your life. You can't elaborate on your life. Because you only remember what went on in your teenage years. So that's 13 to 19. That's what, six years? Is that right? 15, 15 16, 17, 18, 19. Six years. I'm getting better at maths, as you can see. And you always tell lies and you manipulate and you change bits and pieces. I mean, Shannon's proved that on a couple of occasions when she's outed. The stuff that you've been saying in the past is a load of rubbish. So... What's the point of doing story times? That's unless you're going to try doing something a little bit different and this time telling us the truth of whatever happened in your story time. What about that? Only if you're going to tell the truth. Mm. Tell the truth and shame the devil. I'm an idiot. I know I'm an idiot. I know you are. my groceries. I'm glad you've come to that oh. conclusion finally. Like, I hate myself right now. But the thing is, he's eating your groceries. But that's a good thing, isn't it? Because if they were sat in your fridge, they'd be going off. Like all the other groceries all the times before. Because you don't do cooking, do you, Bab? You just order. So it's a good thing, really, about the groceries. Do you do they won't go to waste. I end up being miserable and hating myself. No, I didn't even take him to buy groceries. While well, he was sick in bed, depressed. And you know why he was depressed in bed? Why, Bab? Because I didn't come over. I wanted, like, he's super fucking controlling. Like, oh my god, I need to just say that. If I want to, like, come home for, like, a day because Pete lives here, mm -hmm. it's like hell. Like, that's why I have to sneak out. So why don't bring you my have CPAP? To sneak I don't out. Use you have to sneak to out. I use it because he. Uh, You're a 37 year old woman? You don't have to sneak out. You're not a babby sneaking out the bathroom bloody window. You just say, right, I'm going home now. Tra, Bab. Give him a kiss. Tra, off you go. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. You don't have to sneak out any, anywhere. What's he going to do? Wrestle you to the ground and, you know, super glue your knickers to the carpet. He can't stop you from leaving. Don't be so bloody dramatic, you drama Like queen. I said, the plug is, like, behind his head in the bed. And... and? Exactly, you know. Can't so you be quiet and pull it out? Because I didn't come after seven. I mean, I didn't come there by seven. Yes. In Narda, it's like things are full circle. Oh my God. That woman at the beginning when I met him was like mm -hmm. me foreshadowed. Oh yeah. my God. 
and it's just like the circle that we're experiencing at the moment because you're going to make up with him soon and we're going to be doing this again in a month's time this is a merry-go-round i can't get off it although i suppose i'm getting me um me worth out of the one go that i've had you are such scum he's so manipulative in like mm. such a way like Oh my god, I wish, I wish you knew. Anyways, I have video of you yelling oh good. at me that night. I look forward to that. Beast. I have video of you yelling oh at me. Oh good. Go on then. He raided around Post his it. kitchen the whole night. Did he? I had to like placate him. Like, I didn't pay his rent, I don't think the last month, I think the month before I did not Do you find him? I told you I did a couple times. I can't. I get so can you imagine paying some... Not, can you imagine, sorry, not knowing whether you've paid somebody's rent or not? How much money is this woman earning? Far too much. If she can't remember paying someone's bills the month before. I know exactly what's in my purse down to the penny. I have all my bills, all my direct debits... And I tick them off as I go. I'd know if I'd paid next do next door's rent. I'd know that. Do you know she is her memory being affected by all this bloody marijuana or something? Because lately she just she can't uh, remember toffee, can she? So fucking irritated. He gets up every morning at like six. And like what a bastard! Like He's an early riser. Oh my god. Oh. Guillotine, get the guillotine in. Let's chop his head off. Give him head, and he like bet fucking oh my bothers God. me and bothers me and bothers me. Doesn't... Well, you know what you do. If somebody's bothering you with their winky woo, you wallop it one with a wooden spoon, and it won't bother you Take again. Take no for an answer. <sighs> I'm you get there more than friends, right? No, I'm not going to say it. Well, all right, I will. Notice he's bothering her for. Can't say it louder because Jay's upstairs. But he doesn't want to have sex with her. Is that a red flag? Because if they're bothering you, if they're agitated like men get, because they're like that sometimes of a morning. Some are like it of an evening, and some are like it in, of a morning. And then there's others, aren't there, that they're all year, all all day round, aren't they? They'll bother you at any time. But anyway, isn't that a sort of sign of something. Is, isn't there a little bit of meaning in that? Because usually they'd want sex, wouldn't they, with you? Down there, sex. Not a blown job. Because that's not really a together sort of thing, is it? You're doing it for somebody else. It's not a mutual thing. It doesn't smack of... Well, I suppose her lips smack. But um, <laughs> it doesn't smack of romance and relationship, does it? It's like servicing somebody. It's like cooking them breakfast. <laughs> Sausage sandwich. <laughs> In that case... Oh, I have a lot of story times to tell you guys. Oh, I can't wait to hear I mean, them back. If you're going to do me dirty and not Are they going to be fiction me. or non-fiction? Pre-warners, wouldn't you? I guess you? you leave me no choice but to be really honest. He leaves no choice, you know. Anyway. If she was the President of the United States, she'd be ordering the codes at this moment, ready to put her finger on the red button. She's just pre-warning him. Is it a sort of subtle hint? Start being nice to me. Ring me up. Apologise. Or else I'm going to, you know, drop the bomb. Is that what that's all about? Or am I sort of getting a bit too psychologicals? He's going to go... He's so self-absorbed, he's going to go... He's he fucking lost it. Is he? Lost it. Because when he was crying... Yeah. And sick... Uh-huh. Because I wasn't there... Uh -huh. He doesn't like to be alone. I was at home. I wanted to be at home for a change. You said you were going to go... Because he called me and said, I need you now. 
Mm -hmm. And I, I don't want to drop everything for you, honestly. I don't. But that's so what you love to do. Maybe you're you fucking nice to me. I'd be wanting to. Okay then. But uh, I said, well, I'm gonna go live first. Uh huh. So he rubs that in my face. He fucking. So you know what, Dee Dee from fucking Montreal in a blizzard. Mm -hmm. Makes it down somehow. She doesn't even have her own fucking car. He's is she go, on repeat? Is this the bloody Dee. echo? You've already told us that she's on her way through the blizzard. Like one of those Saint Bernards. Has she got a branding thing round her neck? You mean a blizzard, don't me? <laughs> oh, she's an impressionist. A female Robin Williams. You make me sick. Oh, dear. She really definitely has had some, hasn't she? Anyway, tomorrow I'll have to get my stuff. Yeah, you've already said that, lovey. Since all they'll be doing is drinking my coldie in the fucking depressing kitchen. I won't miss your kitchen. I won't miss your fucking house, actually. What's so depressing about it? I thought it was rather jolly. I mean, at least it was clean. I mean, he didn't have, you know, an assorted amount of shit piled up around him. And you can tell the lads, you know, oh, fay with an antibacterial wipe. It's a lot better than you, you dirty Mary. <laughs> oh, God, she's having a seizure. I Dial 999 or whatever house. the number is in Canada. And you're fucking... Oh, go on, get some down here. She's she, she keeps throwing her neck oh. back like a bleeding seal catching a fish. She's going to choke on that, I tell no. you, one of these days. Mistress Rebecca. Pete's left to put his hand down there. I broke up with him for like three days. I was here. Mm hmm Because he's crazy. I think that was after the time he swatted at, like, he chewed at BBJ. Mm hmm And ran around my house like a madman. <laughs> Well, she's having over. a good time, isn't she, anyway? She's <laughs> in bed looking so miserable. Yeah. And sick. Uh-huh. The friggin' jar of coconut What's the thing about this oh, coconut, no. coconut oil? <laughs> Does he do something with the coconut oil? Does no, he do I something down his know. nether regions with that coconut oil? Do tell us. <clears throat> you can make a story of time just oh, about the coconut oil. Didn't she? I already told this one. Baby face ice cream. Yeah, he's a big fat cubby youth. See that demon's come no, out again. Chip. Get all your stuff, CPAP clothes, coldy, all of it, and be <laughs> done. No more friends with benefits, girl. What is that, Rebies? No, I don't want my fucking coldy. I have another one anyway. Mm, so yeah. Well. Oh. Fabulous. You've got two flasks, my, my god, well alive. Dee Dee's going to wipe. Fucking wear a She's a Imagine going to your time. fucking boyfriend. Oh! You know my boyfriend? I'm not. Oh, I'm not your girlfriend. I'm not girlfriend enough to get, pay your fucking rent and give you shit. No, you okay. is. Um, yes, I'm rubbing it in. I'm you is mug. That's what you are, darling. That's what we call them here in England. You is mug. You're his doormat, darling. You're not his girlfriend. You're that silly mare that'll, that's desperate to do anything for him to have some sort of attention from him. He's been using and abusing you for months. I thought that by now the penny would have dropped. Oh, you know my boyfriend. I'm not, oh, I'm not your girlfriend. I'm not girlfriend enough to get, pay your fucking rent and give you shit. Okay. Yes, I'm rubbing it in. Um, of course I am. Misleading asshole. Anyway, you go to your boyfriend's, you go to the bathroom, and this fucking girl has her Mac lipstick out, all cute. Look at that, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. With some fucking Clorox wipes. Yeah. Kills 99% of odors, vaginal odors. And why do you need your vaginal odors to be erased around my boyfriend? Hmm? You don't need to be around anyone's boyfriend to have a clean fan. You should have a clean fan. 
Every woman in the world should have a clean fan. It is not abnormal to slap a wet wipe round it now and again and a sponge with a bit of soap on it or however you like to clean it out. What's abnormal about that? You're the abnormal one because you've got the dirty one. You've got the dirty kitchen and he's got a clean kitchen. You've got a dirty fanny and he's got, she's got an uh, old, uh, what did we call her? Jezebel. She's got um, a clean one. Perhaps that's why he likes her more than you, because she's clean. Oh, Sam. Oh, that I poor cat. Tired. That's it. That cat has got bloody PTSD, I, like I swear. Having her for an owner. I just scratched her That's eyes why you out don't by like now. Pete. Because you know. Yeah. You can't tell us the truth. You know why he doesn't like you. I get it now. Perhaps the ghost is back. The intruder. You know. Basically, I'll do things, like I said, that to irritate him, I've noticed just this recently. Mm-hmm. Um, Come on. That was good. Are we He'll hold it in, it'll build up. Like not getting there by seven, or coming here, or... But you do that to everybody. You Defending irritate Pete. everyone. Oh. You irritate oh. me and I don't even uh -huh. know you. That's why whenever he was talking about peace, yeah. I didn't defend peace. Right. Because I didn't say anything because that makes him so mad. So I mean like... He says I'm always negative. Who you are, darling. Like he lost it just because, like, he had a plate and he's like, should I garnish it? And it went, oh. Like, I didn't say yes or no enough, I guess. And he went, but you weren't interested. This makes me want to throw the plate at the wall. Because you weren't it's interested because it was nothing to your I'm benefit. Of, yeah. Now, if he'd have been doing something for your benefit, doing something for you, you'd have been interested then. You probably did irritate him. Because you weren't interested in his videos, his YouTube, in what he wants to do. So probably you do irritate, you irritate a lot of people. You're like a bad case of the flush, uh, the thrush. Well, and the thing is, is like, I know I can't, I've said so many times, even to his face, like when he beat on my dashboard, I'm like, I cannot be with somebody who has a fucking temper like that. Like, I cannot, yeah. like. Because you don't like it when people tell you what to do and you don't want to be with a shouter or a bad-tempered person because they're more likely to argue against you. You like nice, simpering, quiet, pathetic, wet lettuces who will do as they're told and let you treat them however you think you will. It's nothing to do with, oh, you've got fear from your childhood. I don't care. I don't believe it. I don't believe a word of it. She doesn't like shouty, bolshy men, as we call them over here, because they're the ones who will stand up for themselves. She doesn't like men that stand up for them. I mean, they make her all, you know, agitated sexually, and they turn her on, but she don't like actually having to deal with them. She likes the idea of them. Because I have, like, I hate when men yell. Do you? I hate it when you yell and scream and shriek and burp and fart and all the other emanations that come out of every orifices, orifice of your body. You yell anyway, you cheeky man. Well, I have feelings for him, Flop Era. I have feelings for him. Oh, my God. I mean, with 16 minutes I've been going so far, yeah, was to call the after all this, because, like, he was like, he's loud. Got feelings for him. You've got popcorn in your teeth now, haven't you? That's the only thing. Like I was like not looking popcorn. at him. How the fuck do you want me to look at you in the face when you're treating me like that? And he's like yelling at me. I'm gonna go back. I have video of him going, ah, putting you straight. Is that like if I don't answer him? Is that what he had the temerity to do? And then Put if I don't straight. look at him, he'll he'll like flip the friggin' cup. Because you don't like, like the he's answer. He's super friggin' like. Anyway, 
anyway, come on then. I know I shouldn't say much publicly. But you are anyway. But, but you're going to tell us all them st story I, times you promised. I just don't, don't get back how you he promise. treats me that way and has the audacity to treat me that way and still be a super big asshole. Because he's just using you. That's how he's got the audacity. Because that's oh, what you do. You want to be do. at home all day? Fine. I'm going to uh, call somebody else to come over. Both a pair of kids, really, aren't they? Mm. Both a pair of teenagers. They're very suited. Because I've said it before, they're cut of the same cloth, these two. But they can't... Uh, they can't deal with each other because each of them is a reflection of themselves and they can't bear the reflection I just feel really at peace here in my room mm -hmm. and I know I think of Miss Holly because I know because you I can get away with blue murder at Pete's sounds. house I feel like yeah. the, your message is I know you have experience with this type of situation with this type of person <clears throat> She she got all the bile out. We're on the down a bit now at the end of the video. And he We've had like, the up. Huh. And like now we're down. someone else. He's like, I'm abusive, right? I'm just being abusive like you said I was. You tell people I am, so? Like he's... <laughs> oh. Like he just has no respect. Like at all. So he must have been talking to Dee Dee behind my back, arranging for her to come for a week without telling me, like, and he just wanted me to come over today? Like, he's fucking stupid. But why I... should he tell you? It's not your home. It's his home. Would you have contacted him and said, oh, my friend's coming over to stay with me and Pete for a week? No, you wouldn't. Because no one bosses you about, do they? No one tells Chantel what to do and you'd have been irate if someone had the 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 sheer cheek to tell you whether or not you can have someone stay in your apartment but he's supposed to run everything by you since when you cheeky bleeder and you talk about no respect i mean pot calling the kettle black hope you're watching this you're stupid oh my god yeah, no, I just misplaced my wallet, Sabrina. Like, I couldn't oh. find it. So it was in amongst and all the crap, up being was it? Amongst all my stuff, like orange chicken said. So. Or were you just too high to find it? And you were all befuddled and confused? Because you don't know what you're doing half the time, do you, really? Because you're in your bubble. Look, I take ownership for my partners, whatever. I'm still going to have to process everything, but... I just want to move on. Good. He doesn't respect at all. And, like, I, I, I'm i the one person who deserves respect in his life. Just because I talk about you, like, he has the biggest ego. If you talk shit about him in, like, the littlest way, he'll never get over it. He, he doesn't let it go. That's what I'm saying. He bottles off. You mean, like, um, not letting go of the mug shot and uh, the weigh-ins on her channel? You know Charlie Gold? Or uh, another example, um, Shannon and the Coke and releasing your DMs. Or Frenchie and the side pony and the way she tells lies. You know, little bits of information that you gather about people and you can't let them go. Is he the same? Like a terrier with a rat? All the shit up and he becomes a fucking... Just like Jekyll and Hyde, like instant, just like... Jekyll and Hyde? Oh, that's another like, thing that serious? seems a bit familiar. Mm. Like, I'll have to, like, breathe to calm myself down, and I'm just like, what the fuck are you, like, it's like friggin', like, he just, oh, you're insane. <clears throat> He's just like you. And, like, you don't treat anybody else like that. Because nobody, that, nobody would want to be around you. If they... <sighs> so he only treats know, you one. like that. I wonder what it is about you that triggers that response in him. I wonder what it is about you that 
irritates him so much to make him go to such levels of anger and upset. But he doesn't do it with anybody else. So nobody else pisses Nada off. Only you. I wonder why. Get them detectives of yours on the onto the answer for us. Let us know on a postcard. It took me a while though. It took a few incidents. But I'm better off. I know I'm better off. Oh good, I'm glad. You've settled on this as your final decision. Absolutely, she's I'm saying a prayer to, now. Like embrace this feeling of like mm -hmm. calm. Yeah. Like Are they really She's kicking in now, the medibles yeah. now? Mm. Making you all sleepy, sleepy. <laughs> you want to go nine Reading eyes it now? on my iPad. Yep. Yeah, you're, no, it's not your iPad, <coughs> darling. No, it's not, you see. It's not. Just like that Lego in my son's room is not my Lego. I bought that for Jay as a gift. That's what happens, you see. When you buy something for someone and you give it to them, it's your property until the point at which you give it to that person as a prezi. It's his iPad. Is that right? It's his iPad, not your iPad. Your money paid for the bugger, but it's his iPad. You gave it to him as a present, just like he gave you that syphilis. Yeah, I know, Pong. She wore the same thing. She's winding down now. Look, her eyes are going. She better have money to support him. Why do you keep going back? JJ, I'm a fucking idiot, and it's never gonna happen. Oh, it's okay. Never gonna happen so that's you guys. You need to. Keep the, is it the 18th text, like, of January? She's making that promise to us all. I feel it slipping. I need to fucking come on here and be like, fucking slap me. But we have done before, and you never listened to that slap. I was slapping you with a wet tea towel, loving, and you weren't listening to mine. I had to. <laughs> I'm cutting the service off. And she's so happy with herself, isn't she? He's a liar. He probably just said like, "I'm like, why didn't you fuck Dee Dee?" Because whenever I went over, he tried to bow me when she was sitting downstairs. Oh God! And like, I could tell he was really horny, and I was just like, to all the ladies out there. Those ladies out there that have been married or have had boyfriends relationships in the past with men would you ever describe your husband or your boyfriend as wanting to bone you you might say oh my husband was getting all romantic last night or you might say oh my god my husband my boyfriend was really excitable last night or you might tell your friends oh god we had mad passionate love last night but i have never ever in my life heard Another woman say that her husband or her boyfriend wanted to bone her. Why is sex always accompanied with some dirty, crude, vulgar language with her? You know, she says that she wants romance and flowers and chocolates and wild nights of abandonment on four poster beds in five star hotels. But she uses grubby, crude, vulgar language. And it's like a, like a teenage boy would talk. You know, teenage boys behind the bike sheds when they're talking about sex and things, you know. They get a bit crude. They use awful slang terms for body parts and activities. And that's how she talks. I've never known another woman say that about a husband or boyfriend. Oh, he wanted to bone me. Honestly, what? Like a, like a piece of place, fish. Like, like, he had a lot of sexual energy, and I'm just like, he can't be boning her with that much. You know, he really wanted me. Did he? And I'm like, why aren't you boning her? He's like, I'm not attracted to her that way. Right. She's not my type. Oh. Or oh, was like, he lusting after your kid, was he? My God. I know I'm sex fat, demon. whatever, but if you have an attraction with somebody, you do. You do, of course you do. So. He's probably lying, though, because he's a ma master liar. What was oh. I saying, anyways? Before? You're a liar, but what you're not a master saying? liar. Because you always trip yourself up. Because <laughs> you're not very clever. 
That's what he said. I'm not saying. Did he really? Yeah. We believe it, <laughs> don't we? We've swallowed that I'm one whole. Too. She's getting all seductive now. Saying? Go to sleep. Go on. Go to your bed. Story. Go and lie on all that great big pile of dirty clothes on your bed and go kick. There's a shit on a plate. And I'm just like, okay, like, he blames everything on me, like, everything. Yeah. Everything is, for me, is to blame. You do that with everybody else, don't you? He's a copycat. He's copying your traits, that. Chantal. You should slap him with a copyright, um, strike. I'm never going back. Oh, is it bedtime Ooh. yet? Has nurse come? Is she going to put you to bed? Room. I took you in. My machine, but it's my fault. I keep bringing. Mm. I need. To, oh, I should get to. You should have brought it home with you. You don't leave an important piece of equipment it. like that lying he about. He does. That's what he did the other night. Just like pure five hours of emotional torture. Emotional Blaming torture. Me, like making me cry and just like. Did he have you pinned down? Had he sellotaped you to the bed? Had he handcuffed you to the radiator? No, he hadn't. You could have left at any time, couldn't you? But you didn't. Even if you'd had some of those edibles or marijuanas, you could have called for a taxi. You sat there and endured five hours of emotional torture that you could have gone out like that of. Because I'd have said, I'm jogging on now. Bye. And I'd have been out that door quicker than weasel shit off his shovel. Do you know, this woman's got more flannel than an airing cupboard. It just... Seeing Talk about spinning a tail. Made him go harder. Did it? He, he is an actual monster. I is he a monster? Uh, like Monster Zinc, that big furry one. I don't know, or the little I eyeball. Love this person. Go on, go to bed. You're not fit for being on live stream. Go on, go and go and sleep. Put your jammers on. Go to bed. She, she's not going to nod off on screen, is she? No. Come on. I couldn't stand being like this, could you? All zombified all the bloody time. It drives me crackers. I wonder she's got no strength to do anything. She's wandering around, half oh, cut all oh, the time. Oh, you're the most handsome man I ever seen in my life. <laughs> cool. He's the most handsome man I ever seen in my life. Nothing again. I was supposed to oh. do some more tonight, but oh, sorry, that was another video. <laughs> so that's it, kids. That's uh, the video for tonight done. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I did. Got a few little retorts in there. Um, I'm going to go now. And I'm going to say I love you loads. I really, really do. Take care of yourselves. And I shall see you all on the next video. Bye. <laughs>